haven't really filmed around campus. I mean, you guys mostly see my apartment. And how boring is that? I mean, I guess I did film in the fisherman's dress, but still. So, here is the Orxy campus. It's a pretty nice campus as far as campuses go, I suppose. At least for being founded in 1905. So here we have... Marguerite? Is that you? Paul? Paul Chauvelin? I thought it was you. Oh my gosh, how are you? Wait, you go to this school? Oui, first semester. What? How come I haven't seen you? Beats me. Uh, maybe because our schedules are so different, different departments. What's your major? No, no, wait. Theater. Of course. Ha! I knew it. You were so good in school theaters back in high school. Oh, well. Uh, what are you doing back in America? Well, believe it or not, I liked it here so, so much, I begged my parents if I could come study college here. Your English has definitely improved since high school. I remember you would always call the center of the apple the corpse. <laughs> not something you want to hear while eating. Yes, uh, my English has improved. I think I'm very fluent now. Marguerite! Marguerite, is that you? Oh god, I thought I recognized you. Um, as your hair, well, and the color of your backpack is pretty distinct. I fancy myself as pretty discerning of colors, you know, being a fashion major. But of course, the giveaway was the camera. You are the only person who walks around on, ca on campus with a camera all the time. What do you want, Blake? Oh, I just had a question about the drama homework. What about it? Just, what is it? You didn't get it? Uh, no, I, I fell asleep again. Of course you did. We have to research two silent movie actors and then write a page on each of them. You are in uh, Marguerite's theater class? Ah, uh, yes, uh, Percy Blakeney. Uh, but my friends call me Blake. Pleased to meet you. And you are? Paul Chauvelin. Paul what? Chauvelin. Show, shoo. Sorry, what was it again? Show, the, la. Chabotin. Is that Irish? What? Um, German? Norwegian? Russian? It is French. Yes, Paul was a French exchange student in my second high school. You know, after I moved. Oh, so you know Marguerite then? Yes. Wow, well, I, I love the French. Uh, it amazes me how they manage to speak that completely unspeakable language. Oh, no, really, you are too much. Oh, no, I mean it. You must be the most intelligent country in the whole world, but then your sense in uh, coat choice uh, doesn't make much sense. What is wrong with my coat? Well, nothing much, except that it's black, and you're wearing a black scarf with it. it it's too much black, cheese and rice. And I, it's just draped there on your shoulders. Looks like a old dead piece of seaweed. But uh, I can show you how to uh, wrap, wrap it properly. But it's no picnic, I can tell you, because it takes all my brain power. I bet it does. But yeah, so uh, you know, you just take it like this. It goes wraps around once, and that way both the ends come to the front. And that way the front is in the back. Otherwise, the back would be in the front, and that's not right at all. The front should be in the back. <laughs> Get what I mean? What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> it's pretty confusing, but uh, you'll get it eventually. Uh, if you can speak that crazy language. Yes, uh, thank you, Blakeney. Uh, please, Blake. All my friends call me Blake. Right. But uh, we should... Uh, get to know each other uh, a little better. Uh, maybe I can give you some more tips. Yes, we should. Well, yeah, make an occasion with Marguerite and uh, perhaps I'll see you around sometime. I cannot wait. Well, in the words of our good friend Tigger, TTFN. And uh, thanks for the homework, Marguerite. Hmm. <laughs> Please don't ask, he's inevitable. Oh, but... He's nice enough, so I can't complain too much. Oh no, I don't judge. Who you hang out with is your business. He's not so bad, he's just a bit, um, eccentric, I guess. Hmm, I see. Well, he did have a point. We should hang out later. Oh yes, totally! I'll let you know. Here, let me get your number.